think he's an, a fantastic player, super exciting to watch. But Zapapi will literally come into my games. Like, I'll be playing at some weird hours for a North American, and Zapapi will come in after my match and be like, yo, good job. That was a really good read. And so uh, Zapapi's kind of got my heart a little bit. I hate when players do that. <laughs> I don't want I don't want someone who's good at the game to come in and watch me molding. I'm not, I'm not into <laughs> that. Kyler used to do that a lot, and he would promptly leave. <laughs> <laughs> He'd leave after you get three stocked. I hated that, man. It made me so nervous every time. But it looks like maybe the nerves are hitting Pavelski a little bit hard here. Yeah. You see him very deep in the red. Now, I think they have had some time here to uh, uh, ruminate a little bit. Maybe cool down. Oh, nice ground pound. You saw the spot dodge come out. Yep. I was expecting maybe a downlight. I think he saw that Zapapi was too far away, so the downlight wasn't going to end up reaching. Where's Zapapi going, though? Running off the stage might be a little bit of a, a bait. Doesn't hit the downlight, though, so can't go for the immediate ground pound follow up. And Pavelski with the neutral sig. Both blue team members in the red, and Pavelski is going to take the first stock with the recovery. He loves that sig so much. He will straight up spam it. Like, I'm not <laughs> even joking. I Watching those sets yesterday from him, or those games yesterday while he was streaming, he was just absolutely spamming InSig if they were in the air. Like, three, four times in a row. Yo, if it, if it works, don't break it, I guess could be a phrase. The Ninja 729, though, gonna fall off the left side. Didn't quite have the movement, so instead you saw him ground pound so he could get back faster, make sure he's not leaving Pavelski in the 1v2 for too long. Immediately picks up the cannon, starting to put out some damage onto uh, Stickia. I think the phrase is, if it works, don't break it unless you need the insurance money. <laughs> yeah. Unless there's no cameras and you can get away with it. Nice follow-up with the cannonball off of Pavelski's sword string. Going to go in, hit the neutral line on the three. So it's going to be worth it as it gets that extra damage. And Pavelski hits the ground pound, putting Stickia out. Downlight recovery, going to take Zapapi out. And now the blue team down to their final stocks here in game number one. Yeah, Pavelski Ninja looking really good. You've seen the gauntlets not coming in from Pavelski. It's the D-Light Dare. Ends up taking a little bit of team damage. Goes into the neutral light. Oh, they almost nailed that. That would have been huge. Bottom side of the nice. recovery. And the weapon toss is there to clean it up, even though that side sig from Zapapi didn't hit and KO. So Pavelski and Ninja are not in nearly as good a spot as they were previously. Yeah, it was looking like a nice lead for the red team, but the blue team was able to get that nice pickup onto both of them. Red team stacked up, and they got the double. Now we're down to the final stocks. This really could go either direction. Pavelski, the one the least damaged on the screen right now. Goes for the D-Light Dare. Ended up being hitting that very low. There's the neutral signature. That uh, oh. signature does have a lot of force on it. You were expecting maybe the KO from the Ninja off the top, but it wasn't quite enough. Now they find that KO. Zapapi very much in the red without a weapon. Another weapon spot comes in. Ninja swipes it out of the air, and Pavelski grabs the one on the right. Yeah, Zapapi in real big trouble as he's not able to get a weapon spawn at all, and the neutral sig and the cannonball both going to land. But the cannonball is the one that gets the knockout. Red team going to take game number one. Seeing solid damage numbers coming out from all players there. It's curious what map they will immediately go into. Seeing some platforms. Mammoth is banned out, leaving Great Hall, Miami Dome, and Small Enigma. A real Sophie's Choice here. I do not. I never read that. Uh, it's basically a choice where whatever decision you make has horrible consequences. So how's that compared to like a catch twenty two? Uh, that's more like there's a good thing, but there's also a bad thing. Oh, okay. So like, I could jump off this really high thing, and I'll look really cool in front of all of the girls, but I could break my legs. Yo, but you'd look really cool in front of that's all of the girls. That's a catch girls. twenty two. Much like this uh, red team looking pretty cool right now with that one under their belt, but we're here in game number two on Miami Dome. Don't want to be jumping off of this map anytime soon. Pavelski, the most damage on the screen so far, has been getting juggled a little bit by this blue team, but the side sig overreaches. It does teleport forward and doesn't have a hitbox the entire pathway. Nice side signature from Zapapi. He was trying to make up for that one that didn't hit before. So he hit that one there, got the early KO. Signature's coming out a plenty from all of these players, only about 40 seconds into this game. We've already seen several. Yeah, I, I got to say, Zapapi, big fan of that signature kit. Oh Even going to signature his own brother and the red team going to try to capitalize on it. Still not able to get the knockout, but Zapapi, can he touch on the right side? He's 
still hasn't touched the platform. There we go. Sticky, it does find landing, but Pavelski gonna hit the neutral sig. Zip Happy with the side sig on the right side, and Bro, Pavelski not able to get the knockout. He is tilting me so <laughs> hard right now. When he's, he got the, he's um, on me. the friendly fire signature on the left side, he was sitting there for like five seconds away from everybody. Then he throws out a signature and it hits his yeah. teammate. He's throwing out signatures left and right, missing, hitting his teammate, or getting punished. Yo. But the blue team does have the lead. So there's something there that is functional as he hits another down signature. Onto Pavelski, gonna get the launch. Nice follow up off of his teammate Stickia, but he does deny himself the weapon. He went for the weapon toss off of that axe neutral egg. Stickia over on the right side. Pavelski looking for the KO. He ends up getting back onto the stage. Hits Ninja far to the left side. Don't know what that neutral signature was. Maybe it was just a smoke signal for his teammate. Ooh, Sticky it did hit the recovery so he can get up to the wall safely on the right side. We're not seeing a lot of saves come out from this blue team instead. It's been like Zapapi's just trying to put big hitboxes everywhere. Of course, those uh, those bow signatures in particular do linger. But Sticky are going to fall on the right side and Zapapi not able to capitalize on it. Red team stealing the lead a little bit. It's still very close though. We could see a KO. Now that Zapapi's coming in, expect those signatures coming out. He doesn't have a weapon. Even without the weapon, <laughs> the first thing he does is breakdance. And he gets punished for one. it. Like, what is he doing? Yo, but Stickia able to clean it up. Maybe this is uh, Zapapi raving, uh, waving the big red curtain, hoping the red team will dive at him like a bull. And it's going to be Stickia who ends up getting those punishes. Nice little team combo, though, is going to build up some good damage onto the red team. Keep the blue team's hopes alive. Zapapi now has a bow in his hand. Dead even game so far. You're seeing multiple signatures coming out from Pavelski as well. The D-Sig, not really sure what that was aiming for. Maybe to pick up early on rather than just hitting the anchor in the end. Ooh, I think it was recovery. just like a smoke signal, kind of like you were saying earlier. Just something to keep the blue team focused on him and not looking at Pavelski coming back. But it's going to be the down light ground pound. Sticky it doesn't hit his own, so the red team now up with the two, but Yo. so happy, or sorry, Stickia hits the ground pound. 1v2, are we going to see it again? The downlight recovery, and the Ninja 729 denies the clutch from Stickia. Now, all of those signatures that were put out, Pappy actually did more damage. He did 451 yeah. damage, which blows my mind that he did that much. But also, Stickia only did in the high 300s. They moved right past that screen, trying to uh, deprive the viewers at home from those numbers, ready to go right into the next game. And it looks like we're going to see the skin swap come out from Zapapi. This worked earlier in his previous matchup against uh, Blue and M for Mini when he, when he swapped off the Coco Azoth and went for the Gladiator Azoth. And it looks like he's going to try to go for it again here in game number three. This is, again, do or die. Now Zapapi's going to start off with a bow this game. And Stickia is going to have that hammer in his hand. Pavelski's going to start out with the gauntlets and Ninja with the sword. We are seeing a little bit more light attacks come out from Zapapi. Nice little jump there to punish. Doesn't quite hit the side air, but the recovery and the weapon toss just keeping some hitboxes out. Stickia does deny himself a weapon. He's the deepest red. Zapapi trying to cover for him. Red team not even looking at Stickia. Now we are going to Mammoth Fortress here when it was previously banned by the blue team. We have a dead even game so far. A little over 45 seconds into the game. Pavelski's going to be the first one to nice. fall. Are they going to get this free nice. KO here? It's looking more probable. Hit. Hits the ground. Oh. Pavelski <laughs> with the rotation. Make sure the trade is not for free. And it's going to be Sticky. Yeah, still holding on to that initial stock, but not for long. I can tell you I was totally distracted. I did yeah. not see Pavelski moving in. I only saw that ground pound right as he hit it. Honestly, I think Stickia was watching too. Like he was like, "All right, I'm watching you. I want to make sure that you don't uh, get got here." And Pavelski just instant spawn, rotated over, hit the ground pad, but a nice Ooh. juggle. Big nares. Ooh. Ninja can't touch Pavelski off stage, but Stickia and Zapapi back off. Don't want to risk it against the gauntlet nares. What an edge guard! That was huge. That puts them in such a better position this game. Both of them in the yellow on their second stocks. Ninja's gonna have to be careful. Pavelski's about halfway through his second stock. He does have a sword in his hand. He can build up damage very quickly. Nice big oh. side tick. Takes Pavelski down to final stock. 
The interrupt from Stickia on the stomp into the scoop up, just keeping this damage going onto this red team. Imagine what can happen when Zapappy actually plays the game instead of just <laughs> mashing the heavy button. It's sick because he's oh a very God. good player. Yo, another edge guard from Stickia? Almost. Ooh, but he does the uh, Zap Zapappy does down sick his teammate. His brother gets launched off, but a nice ground pound from Stickia forces Pavelski to rotate over to the right side. Zapapi still holding on to that second stock, just trying to keep the dream alive. Knows that he might have to play for the 1v2, but the neutral light puts him off stage. I think he's going to hope he gets his luckiest dream and gets a weapon spawn to come in that isn't in the middle of the stage, that goes right into the red team's hands. He's been unarmed for so long. Where is the spawn? He gets knocked away as it comes in. Oh, but there's the recovery oh. from Pavelski, but a nice down sick from Zapapi. Oh. And it's all down to the Ninja 729 here in game number three. Stickia with a big haymaker attempt. You see the Ninja just diving past. Okay, J dude, just get the weapon. Nah, 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 Stickia, nah. what are you doing? <laughs> Please get the weapon. He was running after him like a bot almost. <laughs> yeah. Nice, the Sair puts him off stage. He does have Sairs of his own. Lots of horizontal movement in the cannon side air kit. So the Ninja will be able to get up safely. This end game is tilting me. <laughs> <laughs> From Zapappy, just like slide charging signatures <laughs> when there could just be a simple weapon toss. There we, there we go. go. There we There's go. the recovery to end it. Zapappy did not lose his stock in the process. Solid damage numbers across the board, but Zapappy coming in with five KOs to Sticky as one. So great teamwork from them. Man, that Axe Side Sig was great. That was like an orange KO. I was loving that one. Yeah, and, and I think one of the big things that's working for Zapappy, uh, going to a more traditional playstyle, something that's not so signature reliant. Something is that's that just playing the game? <laughs> hey. don't, don't call it a traditional <laughs> playstyle, bro. He's just, want, all right. he's just using the it. weapons kit. <laughs> all right, well, one thing that's working really well for him is he's not putting himself into those long recovery frames, so he's able to be more present and help out his teammate, help out Stickia, so Stickia can start putting out all of that extra damage. But the juggles and Stickia's in trouble, top of the map. Both red team members were hunting for the early KO. That was great from Zapappy, though. You saw him throw his weapon over at both members of the red team and then continue the pressure to give Zapappy room to get back onto the stage, reset his jump economy. Yeah, that's some really good coverage from Zapappy. He does disarm himself with the weapon toss and the team recovery. Sikia just kind of swinging at everything around him, but since red team members are in the red, could be an opportunity for a knockout. He doesn't quite have the successful edge guard in the beginning like he did in the last game. Ends up being the first player knocked out, but Pavelski is about at a similar damage that Stickia was. So we could see the knockout soon. Spot dodge after spot dodge into Zapappy's unarmed recovery. There's a neutral light going to hit nice all the way to the toss. side of the stage. I think Ninja did that absolutely yeah. on purpose. That was intended. That was, it was great. Saved his teammate, kept him alive for a brief moment. Unfortunately, Pavelski did get caught, got recovered. But I just I love the heads up play from the Ninja 729. And that's off of the sword neutral light that will like lock your yeah. the, the player in for a little bit longer. So he did have a little bit more uh, time to react to that. But still, that was quick thinking. Yeah, great reactions. But Zapappy does hit the down signature. Going to give his team that brief stock advantage. Stickia is taking a little bit more damage than Pavelski. So if this progresses, we could see Zapappy forced to the 1v2. Neutral light will send off Zapappy. Stickia trying to take down either of these red mm. team members, but the down air will take out Zapappy. Stickia over on the right side. They're not putting pressure on him over there. I wonder Ooh. if that was because Zapappy spawned in on the oh, right no. side. That'll be enough to do it, though. Stickia on his final stock, staring at four stocks from Ninja and Pavelski. Zapappy's going to have to put out some work here. Yeah, this is true tournament stock here for Stikia. He has to extend this stock so incredibly long. Nice gravity cancel, neutral light. But the red team is still staying stacked up on him, and he cannot afford to take this team damage from Zapappy. Zapappy really needs to start putting a lot of pressure on the red team. Give Stikia the room to move away from attacks while he's the main aggressor. But the ninja just keeps diving past Zapappy, just completely ignoring these hitboxes. The weapon toss oh. connects. Stickia should dodge, but the down light ground pound, and Zapappy's going to get taken nice. out as well. One to the four stocks of the red team.
And it's exactly what you outlined early on. It is a Pappy in the 1v2. Sticky going down so early. They had a team combo ready to go. It was over on that soft platform, and it looks like they even <laughs> kind of had a plan for that. But Pavelski's just going to duel below the stage and get the KO. Now, Pavelski only put out 344 damage. But you look at how quickly he took that stock down below and how few moves were actually needed to get that KO. Yeah, that was um, that was a, a, a brutal knockout at the very end there from Pavelski, like you said, not putting out a whole lot of damage. But the Ninja 729 actually putting out quite a bit, did a really good job with those cannon rotations. I know uh, I was focused a lot on um, Stikia and Zapapi, but really well done from Pavelski and the Ninja 729 to secure their spot, guaranteed top four finish going up against Zyder and 720 Polyshot. Yeah, it's an interesting stat number spread in terms of damage. It's 545 from the Ninja. So if you look at that, you're like, okay, a normal game, picked up four KOs, awesome. Then you look at Pavelski doing 344. If you were just looking at that, you'd be like, well, I mean, come on, you got to do a little <laughs> bit more than that. Only one KO, come on.